Last Friday, I got the opportunity to hang out, to work out, and to practice with the Chiefs cheerleaders. It's nearly a week later, and I'm still recovering. These girls work hard for their money, so hard for it, honey. Just what did I get myself into? These practices are pretty intense. Um, we are worked like a machine. We do lots of kicks, lots of turns, lots of technique. For the record, being a Chiefs cheerleader is infinitely more difficult than it looks. And the practices are way, way more hardcore than I could have ever imagined. A lot of people think that we just grab pom-poms and get on the field and dance, but actually a lot of preparation goes into it. So we'll do something called Stinger Warm Up, which is a combination of 27 different little dances that we do. See, I made it completely through the stinger warm-up. He is gonna break a hip, I swear to God. And I finished all 27 choreographed routines with absolutely no problems whatsoever. We're gonna swing it twice. Are you ready? Just let all that go out of your body. Swing it once and twice. One. Then it was time for the stretch, which seemed tame in comparison to the vicious warm-up. Now swing it twice, ready? One. Two up. But really, what else goes into being a Chiefs cheerleader? I mean, besides being in a swimsuit calendar. Endurance is definitely key. When we first started, especially as a rookie, you realize very quickly how much, you know, energy it takes and how much, you know, you really need to treat your body well, drinking a lot of water, eating right, getting a lot of sleep. So you're probably going to be a little tired, but I think you've got it. You've got a lot of energy. I was more worried about being accepted into the group. Well, and of course, fitting into those go-go boots. I cannot believe he fit into those boots. Besides the roaring adoration of the Chiefs fans, the cheerleaders love it when little girls look up to them. I absolutely love when little kids admire what we do just because that was me at one time. And just the fact that they get the opportunity to come to us and something I've lived as well. It's something, you know, that that really, really marks a special place in my heart. And yes, in case you were wondering, they all get along swimmingly. The one thing about this team is that every single girl is unique and every single girl is very genuine and they would drop anything to help you at any time. Since guys are very rarely allowed on their turf to practice, I felt particularly privileged and honored to hang with the girls and show them what I've got. And what I've got is 30 new BFFs and 30 different pulled muscles. <laughs> Keep on smiling. Oh, yeah. That was That's the awesome. most fun I have had in a long, long time. Those girls, they were so kind. They were so patient. They were so sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> they work really hard. And look, it's tough to be a chase trailer. I know I showed this off the top, but those boots, they signed the boots. Because they loved that, you so much. They did. Now, oh, you know, they... Them. It, it does take a lot to be a Chiefs cheerleader, and you just learned firsthand those ladies work really hard. Wow. And I, look great doing it. Tuesdays and Thursdays for like four to five hours, it's just brutal. I, oh. And see, and our show is not just for women, it's for men too. Exhibit A, that, that package. Yeah, Beautiful. Be all the guys in the studio are like, wow, she's hot. Staring at the monitor. Yes. It was a good time. <laughs>